the fact that the major, major party nominations for the White House are locked up likely kept voters away from the polls. Turnout in Orange County was the lowest on record for a presidential preference primary. But as Western News political reporter Greg Fox explains, it was solid first test for a newly appointed election supervisor as we look ahead to the August and November contests. The last ballots have been cast. Equipment is being brought back along with signs to election headquarters wrapping up what could be the lowest turnout election of this kind ever. It's not the kind of political history you hope to make when you work in one of the largest elections offices in the state. But the heads of the two major political parties in Orange County suspected that with the nominations for the White House already set before the Sunshine State voted, low turnout was not surprising. But we also have Orange County Public Schools spring break this week. So we have a lot of different things in the mix. So I would say, you know, a lot of times we encourage people to vote early, vote by mail. We're definitely going to look at the voter file, look at who turned out to vote and make sure that they stay engaged uh, in August and November and then also get everyone else who didn't vote today. Local elections felt the fallout from just an 18.5 percent turnout, despite having six cities with 10 mayor and commission races. Four cities had ballot measures. In Maitland, for example, people freely shared their views on paying for a new library. Was it a tough decision? No, not at all. Uh, it's needed. Needed for the community, for sure. I voted against it because I want the roads fixed before they spend that amount of money on a new library and shared their disdain for those who didn't bother to cast ballots. Pay attention. All you do is just mark your ballots, so how hard is that? The election was the first big test for newly appointed supervisor Glenn Gilzine, who, just 15 days into the job, made a very visible change, opening up a video live stream into the ballot processing room so voters could watch democracy in action. Orange County is the first ever county in the entire state of Florida to offer a live streaming feature. So that is the level of um, change. So I would say it's not really a change, it's more of an enhancement. We asked Supervisor Gilzean if he's considering running for election to the post of Supervisor of Elections. He told us he has not yet made that decision. In Orange County, Greg Fox, Watch 2 News. The Orange County Elections Office budgeted roughly $1.4 million for today's election with just more than 54,000 votes. That works out to nearly $27 per ballot cast.